Okay, I think this is the final remake that I'll be reviewing this weekend. We already had the Robocop remake, which I really, really enjoyed, and we had the About Last Night remake that I, I liked, I really liked, and now we have this other remake that is also from a 1980s film starring Brooke Shields. This remake is a remake of a movie remake of a movie that's called Endless Love. But now we have a younger cast. It is years into the future. Of course, people are using cell phones and having all kinds of fun technology. But I wasn't really aware of this story and I'd seen the trailer to the film and watching the trailer over and over and over and over again felt like I was seeing something that I've seen a million times before. It's with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of movie cliches. But hear me, I was trying to be so understanding and so accepting, especially when I go see a movie like this, hopefully we'd be seeing something different, something new, and something smart. Now this story, which uh, is a remake, as I said before, there's a lot of remakes going on. Oh my gosh, I'm saying remakes so many times. But uh, I wasn't really, i never seen the original film, so I really didn't exactly know what we we're getting into. But this story tells the story, this film tells the story of a young, ambitious girl, just graduated from high school, played by a very lovely looking Gabriella Wilde, who I remember from the Carrie remake. She was also in another, she's doing a lot of remakes. I really like her. She's very pretty for a blonde. For a blonde, she's, she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. And she's ambitious, she doesn't really want to have too many friends because she's inspiring to go to college right after high school. She hasn't really had her first love or her first boyfriend. She's just school bound and her, hus and her husband, her father, wants her to be a doctor. And then on the other side, we've got this kind of loner type, good looking guy played by Alex Pennifer, who is from Magic Mike. And he is a good looking guy, he's a nice guy. He's, he's not a douchebag, he's a nice guy. And he's really, he, 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 he's really liked this girl ever since 10th grade, but he's never had the chance until this moment, right after they graduate, to finally hook up and form this endless love. Now, yes, I wasn't familiar with the story, but I've seen this story before I've seen this these these movie this movie cliches all over the place but I got to say for the first hour watching this movie I liked the the main cast those two lovebirds I liked them so much that I didn't mind all these predictable and forgettable and sappy and cheesy things being thrown at us I wasn't minding that I even liked Bruce Greenwood as the fa her father and Jolie Richardson as her mother and then of course we got Robert Patrick the T1000 himself playing the father of the Alex, uh, the guy character, whatever. So, you know, we got this love story going on, and I'm really, I'm kind of buying into it. I'm actually quite enjoying this film. Even though in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I've seen this before. I've seen this premise done before, and a lot better. In a film that I, I guess it was an original idea after all, but took an original idea and formed it out of that, and became one of my favorite movies of all time, and that would be Say Anything! This is a great film. This movie's like 25 years old. You watch John Cusack and Iona Sky fall in love, and this is a film that you need to see instead of Endless Love, because after the first hour, many things were happening in Endless Love that were starting to really piss me off and going, okay, yes, that's got to happen, so this can happen, and that's got to happen. Oh, I saw that and this, and I saw that and this, and, and I'm like, there's nothing really new being nothing. There's nothing happening that's new here in nothing in, in a remotely exciting way The only thing that's saving this whole movie for me is that I still find the major cast the two lovebirds quite likable And I want them to be happy, but the sad thing about it is they're surrounded by a really really lame story a lame script lame direction Everything is just very lazy in this film I think the real people that really care about this movie the most are the stars. They really are giving their all when the production really lets them down. But let's go back to Say Anything. Oh my gosh, my camera's going crazy. So Say Anything is a 1998 film directed by Cameron Crowe, also written by Cameron Crowe, starring John Cusack and Yona Sky. And uh, it's just a fabulous movie. And as I was watching this movie, I couldn't help but go, everybody should skip this movie on the, the, this holiday, this made up holiday, and go watch, rent this, buy this, whatever. But, uh, check out Say Anything instead of Endless Love. Because Endless Love is forgettable, it's, it's not very good, it just doesn't really do anything new to the love genre, the romance genre, where this film, which is 25 years old, feels fresh as ever. So skip this and watch this. Okay, in the end, that's all I got to say about Endless Love. There's really nothing else to talk about. 
This is just an okay movie. It's not a bad movie. It made me a little upset, but thanks to the nice, pretty cast, I really like them, and I like them, and I've seen them in other films that I've liked them better in, and I, hopefully they'll have futures. But in the end, I'm going to give Endless Love just two stars. That's it. I'm Movie Man Jet. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. And I've also started contributing to another website called MoviePilot.com. Please check out my contributions to that website amongst many, 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 many other people that live, love, and breathe film on moviepilot.com. If you enjoyed this review, please click right here and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful day loving whoever you love, but hopefully you'll continue to love them and not just use the stupid one holiday to love them, but love them throughout the entire year. Because that's what I do, and that's all I care about. Because I hate this holiday. I'll never like this holiday, no matter if I'm in a relationship or not. But I'm going to get off my rant and just move on with my life because I'm probably wasting your time. And I apologize for that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace be with you. And I love you all. Peace out.